Cause that's what the pussy calls me And when the nigga start hating, that's when the nigga lost me Fantastical, that's what the hoes call me Mazuma TV back with some more boxing news. All right, guys, I just finished watching the Conor McGregor versus Mayweather press conference out in L.A. Uh, it was everything that I expected it to be, man. First of all, before I get into my review, uh, shout out to Pauli Malignaggi, Al Bernstein, and Brandon Schwab. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, those are a good choice for commentary, man. They provided a lot of knowledge on the game, brought up some great points, man. I really loved the, the commentary between the two. And hopefully we can see uh, Schwab on the commentary for the fight coming up August 26th let that car go by yeah man um really interesting interesting press conference man I thought that shit was hilarious definitely was worth waiting for because initially I thought the press conference because you know I live out in the east coast I thought it started at two o'clock but it ended up being uh pacific time you know what I'm saying so that's out west or wherever the fuck is that you know what I'm saying so uh I had to wait until five o'clock you know um Got the chance to watch it, and this shit was funny as hell, man. Conor McGregor from the jump, but as soon as Mayweather came up, uh, he was talking crazy. They did that little face-off, and there was a little bit of distance between the two, real similar to the face-off between Mayweather and Pacquiao. Um, Conor McGregor was talking some shit, and Mayweather didn't say a word, which kind of surprised me, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, man, I know he's not going to go throughout the whole press conference without saying a word, man. I know he's not. And uh, for sure, I was right. You know what I'm saying? As soon as Mayweather got on that. Um, oh, before I get into that, though, shout out to Dana White, man. <laughs> he had a funny ass uh, introduction for Conor McGregor. Real similar to how, uh, what's his name? It's not, I don't, Jimmy Buffer on the UFC, uh, the UFC um, announcer. You know what I'm saying? Real similar to that, he did the uh, same style, and then Conor McGregor went up there, and um, he was making fun of Floyd because of the uh, he was wearing a tracksuit or whatever, and Conor was wearing a suit, and uh, they, they, he was just making fun of him. He said he had a small core, which is pretty much downplaying him. It says that he's going to knock him out in four rounds, tops. He said, mark my words, you know what I'm saying? So he's bringing out a little bit of Mystic Mac into the situation. That shit was hilarious, man. Uh, Floyd was doing a lot of hand gestures. He seemed as if he was ready for Conor to stop talking. But uh, rest assured, when soon as Mayweather got up there, he shut shit down, man. That shit was fucking hilarious. As soon as he was like, hard work is what? As soon as he said that, <clears throat> as soon as he said all work is what? And the crowd started going with him and the momentum started going to his side, that shit was over, man. He was calling Conor McGregor a little bitch everything man that shit was fucking hilarious i was sitting there laughing the whole time um he was just pretty much schooling them he brought out his hundred million dollar check he said i ain't even cash this motherfucker yet easy work easy work you know what i'm saying he's talking about oh we could fight in the ring we could fight in the octagon which you know is bullshit but you know floyd just talking for the hell of it you know what i'm saying he's trying to promote the fight he said we could wear 10 ounce gloves eight ounce gloves four ounce gloves you know what I'm saying? Which, you know, that's bullshit, too. But it was funny as hell, nonetheless, man. Conor McGregor, uh, initially, he sound, he seemed to be uh, entertained by the trash talk that Mayweather was bringing. I believe Conor McGregor was actually shocked, honestly. I didn't think uh, he thought Mayweather was going to talk shit like that. Because Mayweather hasn't brought out his trash talking side since, I don't know, fucking... Uh, he talked a little bit against Andre Berto, but that shit was hilarious, man. Um, he ain't bring that shit out since, like, Oscar De La Hoya. And Mayweather was right at this nigga neck, man. This shit was fucking hilarious. What else he said? That shit was funny. He was like, oh, you got a suit on. Uh, Conor McGregor was like, oh, you pay your taxes then, Floyd. P Floyd, why don't you pay your taxes? He said, I am the IRS. I'm going to tax that ass August 26th. <laughs> yeah, a little shit like that was fucking hilarious, dog. That shit was a house party, for real, man. I really, really liked this press conference. Probably one of the funniest press conferences I've ever seen personally it lived up to my expectations and i'm looking forward to the world tour man i gotta find out when the next press conference is if anybody knows when it's gonna be let me know in the comments i definitely look forward to seeing this shit man i think they're coming to new york next you know shit i might maybe even i may i might make the trip over there actually if it's free to the public man i might just take that trip over there for real but the shit was funny as shit nonetheless. Let me know what y'all guys think in the comments. One of the funniest press conferences I've ever seen personally. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the subscribers. Subscribe to your boy Mizuma TV. And I'm out.